Oh. Oh my gosh, you're gigantic on my screen. <laughs> Wait, don't take that out of context. <laughs> so I may or may not have had my head set off. What did you say? I said that you're gigantic on my screen. And I immediately said, do not take that out of context. Ah, uh, yes. As as per usual, I am taking over your stream. <laughs> this is my stream now. Yeah. So, hi, Robin. And as you can see, uh, there's a new seasonal thing. But they also added something new to options that I want to show you. Well, I don't think Robin was here originally for the game, so they might be confused, but... Yeah. As you can see, they added phobia toggles oh. for people who have phobias. Oh, that's a nice little bit of uh, accessibility. Yeah. Yeah, this was actually a phobia I used to have for reasons I'd rather uh, not dwell into. <laughs> Nyctophobia. Uh, <laughs> how could you be scared of Nyx from Hades? <laughs> She's so mommy. Okay. Anyways, seasonal worker. And yeah, I will mention for stream, uh, I would have, or stream probably would have started like 20 minutes ago if I hadn't forgotten that I was going to be doing this with Bright, and I was <laughs> setting up my new chair. <laughs> so for once, Bright's tardiness to start a stream is actually my <laughs> fault. Uh, I've made a severe and continuous <laughs> lapse in my judgment. <laughs> Hatchet, your, yeah. your apology thing sounded like the Ninja Sanchi apology. <laughs> I don't know about that one. The The meme I was doing is based off of Logan Paul after he photographed that dead body. And Yeah, let's just uh, say uh, Ninja Sanchi is something yeah. really fucked up 200 employees. <laughs> and made a really uh, bad apology. <laughs> not surprising. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I'm excited. User Rebecca, that's new. Our previous user was 34. So we actually have a name this time. You upgraded to ha being a person. <laughs> Instead of being rule 34. <laughs> yeah, you, you upgraded to being a person rather than porn. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, so we got email. <laughs> you see that one right there. Uh, yeah, I've got a really <laughs> bad feeling that Rodney's a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. So, subject line. Welcome back from HSH Corporate. Rebecca, office here at HSH. Our effort grateful for your annual service during one of our busiest and most final work weeks. While we only get to experience our, your talents for one week every year, we just want you to know you're highly valued here and an important member of HSH family. Best of luck this year, Rebecca. We're all counting on you. Best HSH yeah. corporate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, family. Yeah, sure. Shut the fuck up. Wait, just, we... send us, <laughs> just send us spoopy pictures. <laughs> and don't act like we're family, you shitbags. Yeah. Also, I like how they only I'll get to experience my talents one week every year. <laughs> Yeah, so you just you just pop in during the holidays, uh, because they're short staffed. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Such a Do you want me? Yeah, go ahead. Do you want me to read this? <laughs> sure. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, what's what's the most shit eating voice I can think of? Dog, I heard you were back in the office today. You aren't gonna forget about coming to say hi to your best pal Rodney from IT, are you? I know you wouldn't dare forget. <laughs> Remember. I got serious dirt on you, dog. 
Some of us actually remember last year's Christmas party. XD. Anyway. Glad to have you back. See you around. Rodney. So it's just as we feared about Rodney. Oh, I fucking... I fucking spit on my microphone. Oh, no. Also, uh, a bunch of wind isn't coming through my mic, is it? I don't think so. Okay, just wanted to check. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right, subject line, Daily Twilight Report, December 22nd, 1996, from HSS Observatory. Daily Twilight Report, uh, December 12th, 22nd, 1996, phenomena first sighted in Nunavut at approximately 400 hours. Estimated proximity around 300,000 miles, or 482, 803.2 kilometers. Current risk profile low to moderate. HSS Observatory. And that's it. So since this is a holiday update. Yeah. Well, I mean, one, it might have been a touch more thematic to wait until December, but eh. Yeah, who cares? Uh, <laughs> but yeah. But besides that, if we don't see some mangled Santa Claus and some mangled Krampus, <laughs> I'm rage quitting. I'm just leaving. No, I will say we're probably going to see a plague doctor. Because it, it, it was one of the things shown as the icon for the DLC. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the only monster I know. Also, I see. there's one thing. Some people get mad at me for saying kilometer instead of kilometers. But it's not eh. kind of vice versa. It doesn't matter. Well... You see, my brain immediately wanted to jump on you for it, just because I'm so used to jumping on you about bad pronunciation. Yeah. But as far as I know, I think it's kind of a tomato-tomato thing. Yeah. Kilo. <laughs> uh, kilometers, kilometers. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's... Eh. All right. Tomato-tomato. Let's start our first day, Hatchet. You're going to be helping me. <laughs> Wait. Isn't there, before we actually start, isn't there, like, something you have to do to, uh... I, I already clicked it earlier. I clicked the DLC thing that was in right here. So I probably oh, no, said, I was meaning, oh. like, uh, isn't there, like, a, a handbook on stuff? Or was that supposed to show up when you actually enter the program? I'm just going to post these and manipulate... Nations available after promotion. Oh, they added the, uh, this stuff. Add button to skip call wait time. Well, we're probably not going to do that. Yeah. I think we're fu I think... I think, uh... I don't think we got the handbook this this time. No, yeah. What's, what's NSA Discord? Oh, that's their Discord. Oh, okay. That's just, like... <laughs> that's just a very well integrated mm -hmm. button to go check out their discord server okay yeah all right then let's go let's start our first day three days until christmas no it is not <laughs> cheer levels <laughs> Okay. Oh, now I'm remembering a bit more about this. Yeah. Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please click in below. Also, Chew, I, I'm here to watch Bright be bad at puzzles and riddles. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, I figure that's why you brought me in. Oh, they have some of the same stuff, too. Oh, there's a new one. Antler Gross. What the fuck? Ugh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like that. Answer. Oh. It is I, Carol. It is good to have you back in our employer, Rebecca. Thou art a lifesaver every season, and thy yearly return is appreciated as always. I, of course, have no need to tell you how things work here. 
but I will remind you that we are hosting our annual office Christmas party again the day after Christmas. It would please me to see you there. We're all counting on you, Rebecca. I didn't miss Carol. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what ant or gross are. Antler ghosts are a family of fungi known for growing in tall antler-like arrangements, most often seen growing on decomposing humans or, or mammals. Sufficiently large growths can often include motor movement in their host. Danger. Antler ghosts are not dangerous on their own, but the movements they induce in their chosen host can often result in hazardous behavior towards living creatures in facilities such as clawing, grabbing, and biting. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Our lights keep flickering off, and we're trying to get our Christmas tree ready for when our folks arrive. Please hold. It's probably gonna be one of the new ones. Yeah. To pre prevent ant orcos from occurring during decomposition, it's advised to burn the remains of the deceased, or otherwise bury the deceased at least six feet beneath the soil to ensure maximum safety from potential hazards, hazardous behaviors. Well, I think we know about avalanches. <laughs> Avalanche, yes. Uh, the most anomalous thing I could. What the fuck is a clock? <laughs> or clutch? <laughs> what the fuck? It just looks like a big chunk of charcoal. Clock are large circular stone formations known to appear around homes during the winter. Homeowners of clock often report clear skies and a feeling of instability and sinking. Clock are highly hazardous to homes and their inhabitants as the ground in the center of the formation are gradually sink lower until a deep pit is formed, damaging the home's foundation in the process and preventing homeowners from leaving. Solution. Homeowners who to prevent damage to their home are advised to seek the aid of ones conducting the clock, bringing either an offer of gold or their, or their firstborn child. <laughs> If no negotiations are possible, it's advised to vacate the home as soon as possible. <laughs> you have to what give your first okay, yeah, child. We're sac <laughs> All right, boys, we're sacrificing babies today. Uh, oh, dwarves! That's a strange uh, dwarf. <laughs> um. Okay, listen. I'm very into Tolkien, but I don't think the average dwarf looks like a meatball with arms. <laughs> so very late to our portion. <laughs> yeah. Description. Dwarves are small, rock-like creatures known for creating and living in underground burrows, sometimes extending our territory into human homes. Homeowners of dwarf infestations often report increased heat in their home, clattering or banging sounds in, and finding rubble or holes in basements or cellars. Dwarves are harmless to most mammals, with their diet consisting mostly of insects, soil, and rocks. Dwarves formerly Burrowing activities can often cause foundation no problems or structural damage to a home, however. Dwarves can be dissuaded from tumbling into a home by placing clippings of parasitic plants such as mistletoe or rattles in or around cellars and basements. Often infestations should be handled by HSS Pest Control Services. Alright, here's the auto sample. All right. Good for them. Uh, elves. At least they're relatively friendly. Yeah. Elves. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Which one's the elf? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> elves are humanoid creatures with pointed ears and that often inhabit large-scale human uh, social gatherings under the guise of being forgotten friends, family, or acquaintances. Homeowners who have made direct contact with elves often report headaches, nausea, and light headache headness. Elves are known to lower the immune response of humans they come into direct contact with, often leading to the contracting of a very variety of illnesses, resulting in long-term hazardous or fatal consequences. To prevent a mental or minimize contact with elves, it is advised homeowners do not interact with anyone they do not recognize at social functions, especially those claiming to have a history or personal connection with them. It is also advised to keep social functions to a minimum or to closely supervise the attending parties to prevent unwanted intrusions. So almost all of that was indecipherable over Discord. Oh no, do I need to come out and come back in? Yeah. Okay. It, all right. 
Hold on. God damn it, Discord. Anyways, were you able to understand elves, though? Or For the need... most part, I was reading okay. along. Okay. I'm guessing... I'm guessing it's the person in the center of the picture. <laughs> yeah. Or do you... She says, I think I know which one's the elf. Yeah, if you, like, look closely, I think the person in the center of the picture kind of looks to have pointed ears. Yeah, the most thing that's this putting me off at this picture is this woman right here just staring at us. <laughs> the only one staring at the camera directly. Oh, that's... Hmm. I mean, that might be fair. Yeah, alright. The next one is False Carolers. Oh my god, that's the thing I saw in the icon. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I guess it's not a plague doctor. <laughs> it's just a seasonal plague doctor. Yeah. False carolers are flocks of feathered humanoid cre creatures, aka furries, draped in many layers of clothing that are known for their pleasant singing vocalizations and for approaching the entrances of homes after dark. Where's um, it? actually, <laughs> you're thinking of avians or featheries? <laughs> you know what? If we ever have to do a, a false carolers, we're just going to call them featheries instead. <laughs> you got a feathery problem. <laughs> Homeowners afflicted by false carolers often report sounds of singing, misleading neighbors, or large feathers appearing around neighborhood sources. Uh, feathers post pose a very dark threat to humans and anim animals as they are known to carry away anything that comes close enough to them away to their nesting grounds to feed their young. If false, no wait, if feathers are suspected to be present in a neighborhood, all homeowners in an affected area should be stay locked inside their homes until sunrise. Hey, right? Yeah? I really think you should have a sit down with your cousins here. Shut up! <laughs> Like, this, is, this isn't this is very good behavior, I'm not gonna lie. Shut up. It's, not, it's their chosen feeding grounds remain fruitful. Featherers will continue the same feeding grounds each night. Most feathers will move on to other territory after a few consecutive nights of unsuccessful hunts. For more persistent infestations, it's highly advised to utilize HSH pest control services. Oh no! Forgotten Bogart! No! Who <laughs> forgot the Bogart? Looks more like Bigfoot. <laughs> oh. How Forgot could anyone forget about the Bogarts? <laughs> yeah. Forgotten Bogarts are a wild roaming subspecies of Bogart that are untethered from memory. They are known to dwell in uninhabited outdoor locations such as forests or mountains until they find new homes with those that are capable of witnessing and discussing them. Homeowners that have attracted a forgotten Bogart often report strange sightings and an obsession with discovery. Wait, this is just Bigfoot! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I think this is just Bigfoot. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what they say about big feet, big dick. I'm sorry. I know that meme. Anyways, forgotten Bogarts are harmless to those unaware or indifferent to their existence, but are at risk of inhabiting the homes of those within interest in discovering them and discussing them, thereby increasing the risk of hazardous activities such as flooding, fires, and electric outages. So, let me get this straight. <laughs> if you like Bigfoot enough, <laughs> Bigfoot will come into your house and fuck up the infrastructure. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it is advised homeowners do not dwell on the possibility of nearby forgotten bogarts, any forgotten fo uh, bogart sightings, or on any thoughts of forgotten bogarts to prevent them from inhabiting one's home. Never speak of a forgotten bogart. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> uh, Mountain warlock. For first rule of forgotten bogart. Don't talk about forgotten bogart. <laughs> Oh, hi. Why does it look like 096? Uh, yeah, kinda. 
Description. Mountain warlocks are humanoid creatures resembling elderly human men. They are known to lie dormant in, in their high-level elevation domains until the winter solstice. Upon waking, their thunderous vocalizations can be heard for miles around. Homeowners affected by mountain warlocks often report echoes, rumbling, shaking, or occasional avalanches. Mountain warlocks are highly territorial and pose a direct moral danger to any humans or animals that settle or wander near th their domain. Their Earth-shattering incantations can additionally cause severe damage to a home foundation. Mountain warlocks cannot be safely removed by human force, but due to their severely dangerous presence, it is highly advised that homeowners utilize HSH pest control services as soon as possible. Well, what, uh, what's the pest control services gonna do? Wait, if the lights are flickering, that's the first sign of the hash scene slash, oh my gosh. Yeah, Seripod's going on a roll on these streams so far. Every show I've had. They, they've knocked out everyone. Okay. Well, that was unsettling. <laughs> mm. Very good. Next is Pine Sprites. Oh, it's cute! Aww. It's like a weird little camouflaged... Uh... I... Yeah. I'm having troubles putting to words what it's like, but it, it's a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Here's something cool, um... Apparently, it, it won't be delivered until December or something like that, but I just now remembered. A friend of mine in real life ordered two plushies from Makeshift for me. A Mimic plushie and a Man in a Suit plushie. Huh. Both are from, like, different, you know, analog core. Yeah. I'm excited Wait. to get them. <laughs> Anyways, description. Pine sprites are a small green subspecies of sprite known for inhabiting pine trees. Mourners with pine sprites often report rustling sounds of fighting pine needles and sap in strange places. Danger. Pine sprites are harmless if left to their own devices, though their behavior can turn hazardous if their home is disturbed. They have known to sometimes cause fires or electrical shortages when electrical devices such as lights are introduced to their homes. So, don't use a flashlight on a pine spray. Or Christmas tree lights. Oh, right. Pine sprays keep their chosen homes for their entire 160 to 180 year lifespans. Oh. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so they, they long live boys. Yeah. So it's advised to avoid disturbing them by refraining from decorating any trees they haven't inhabited. Okay, so it's this one. <laughs> yeah. Homeowners may also choose to safely relocate an uninhabited tree away from their home by utilizing HSA's pest control services. It's listen. Just eat them or burn them. Chew! What the fuck? Jesus. Oh my gosh, the next one is Red Nose. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> I guess this is based off of Rudolph. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but... Oh. Red nose is a seasonal illness characterized by the primary symptom of a red berry-like growth emerging from the mammalian proboscis. Most commonly occurs in wild animals, but can be transferred to humans via the spores it releases once blossomed. Red nose, oh. while painful during the growth stage, is generally harmless to humans and animals alike with proper rest and care. Okay, so it can't fully kill. Yeah, it's just... a... Uh, uh, hazardous. Wait, Chu, are you serious? You don't know who Rudolph is? 
Right, she was messing with you. Oh. Wait, hold on. Bust, are you okay? Bust, where are you at? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're fine. Okay. He was making, um, vomit sounds. That's why I had to check. Sorry about that. Oh, it's not, it's not pleasant. Yeah. I just I need to check real quick. Red Nose will go away on its own after it's blossomed to prevent Red Nose from spreading. It is advised to quarantine the affected individual until blossoming has passed. Now you could also, like, I mean, if it's a fungal infection, you could also say, like, uh, ad advise using an antifungal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got new wisps. Oh, uh, that's a lot of wisps. Yeah. Sinking Foundations next. Which I, we already know what that is. It's just a house that's sinking. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's just kind of, that's mundane. Snow Golems. Oh my god. How the fuck do you manage to make a snowman intimidating? <laughs> it's a snowman. Leave it out in the sun for a couple hours and it's dead. No, we're not poking the growth of the steak chew. Anyways, <laughs> snow golems are large humanoid mounds of snow that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners experiencing snow golem infestations commonly report wet floors, power outages, recently faulty or broken heaters, or strange snow formations outside the home. Snow golems can prove hazardous to humans in a variety of ways. Their tendency to target home heaters, especially during hazardous freezing weather, can cause medical issues such as frostbite, or hypothermia in the affected homeowners. Threat contact with a snow golem while in its pursuit of its target is also frankly fatal. So these things of made entirely of snow can kill people. <laughs> What's your thoughts on that, Hatchet? I, what thoughts am I supposed to have? <laughs> When caught early, snow golems can simply be removed from a home by turning up the heat in a home to speed up their melting process and blocking easy access to home heaters and fireplaces. If snow golems succeed in removing potential heat sources from a home, it's highly advised to utilize HSH's pest control services. Huh. Sugar wasps. I mean, what wasps? Wisp. That's just candy. Right. right. Yeah. Have you considered reading your chat? Happy birthday. Oh, from the... Let's see if Bright knows that reference. Yes, I know that reference. It's from Frosty the Snowman. I was forced to watch a bunch of Chris old Christmas movies when I was younger for my family. I, I know what that is. <laughs> Anyways... Sugar wisps are an invisible subspecies of wisps known for its sweet plum-like aroma and its ability to influence the dreams and appetites of humans. Homeowners afflicted by sugar wisps often report an intense craving for sweets, dreams of dancing orbs, and malnourishment. Sugar wisps can be quite hazardous to humans' health thanks to their influence on the victim's preferred diet. Sustained exposure to sugar wisps can lead to mild to severe medical problems ranging from tooth decay and diabetes to starvation. <laughs> oh yeah, you hear about the new diet, the, the new the new pop diet. Step one: get rid of every source of sustenance from your house except for sugar. Only eat sugar. This is an only sugar diet. Uh, I'm not a professional. <laughs> Sugar whisk can be- I don't need a degree to tell you that the sugar diet is the best <laughs> diet. Sugar whisk can be dissuaded from influencing their chosen victims by blocking access to their victims' sense of smell. Homeowners are advised to utilize nose plugs or a similar apparatus while they sleep until the sugar whisk eventually departs on its own. Alright, a time whips. Oh my god, that is horrifying. Uh. Uh, why does it look like an ethereal chew? 
Time whiffs are a subspecies of whiffs that appear in, as faint candle-like lights with a friendly visage. But my visage. That is not friendly! <laughs> what if you pronounced visage correctly? And then you corrected yourself to visage. Oh. I, there's a cane that's spelled similar to this, but it's called visage. I, I'm sorry. Okay. There. Wait. Wait. You mean the game Visage? Yes. Where did you he where did you get I watched the people... notion that it's pronounced visage? I watch people on YouTube and they call it visage. Ugh. Anyways, they are known to temporarily displace objects and persons in time and are most active at night. Homeowners have experienced time with often report feeling a newfound gratitude for life, a desire to better themselves, or immense existential dread. Time with Tennessee well, huh? that, well, I was just gonna say that's a that's a hell of a leap. <laughs> yeah. You either feel very motivated to go out and improve your career or you don't want to exist anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Timeless tendency towards temporal displacement, while sometimes beneficial, can often result in causing intense anxiety or stress in those who have witnessed their fates to be. Time will pass through on their own in the course of a single night, with no further action is required. Oh. So anyone who has this, you just fucked. <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, the damage is done. Just, uh, it's seek therapy and or, uh, Good luck at work, I guess. <laughs> and next is the twilight. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. The twilight is an annual recurring phenomenon known for its diet of fear and suffering. Jesus! What? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Back up. What the fuck is that statement? <laughs> When we're looking at a picture of an aurora borealis, or something similar. <laughs> Should it find sufficient satiation in these cravings during its time spent in our cosmic proximity, it will proceed to consume all things that dwell above and below the soil. <laughs> what the fuck? The twilight is a severe existential threat to all living things. So long as it finds sufficient feeding material, its hunger should avoid being satiated at, at all costs. Okay, so we're if it comes to our world, we're fucked. Anyways. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm getting it. So, this is why we have a cheer level. We have to keep uh... people happy. Otherwise, the twilight's gonna destroy humanity. Yep. Twilight should be kept from its desires at all costs until it moves past. To prevent its feeding, all manner of fear, agony, and suffering should be avoided or mitigated when at all possible on the calendar days of its proximity between December 21st and December 25th. Mitigated. Uh, mitigated. It is also advised to spread as much cheer, celebration, and merriment during this time as it is as is feasible. Oh. So Christmas is an HSH conspiracy to keep humanity from getting wiped out by the Northern Lights. Yeah, I want to make sure this is it. Uh, yeah, this is it. Pine Sprite. Oh wait, it has a it oh. has a a, a play button. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Chew. Wow, that's amazing timing. I wish I actually heard what that sound was. It's it's one of the sounds from Containment Breach. It's like the the breathing, like ah, oh, the sound. Old man breathing. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> that's what happens. You don't like my cat. <laughs> Not more Twilight movies. Oh shit, Twilight is just like me for real. Anyways, this is cute. I I want a plushie of this. 
They are pretty cute. Alright, so this is, uh... Let's see, where are you in this? Pine Sprite. Pine Sprite. So I take it we're going to be trying genuinely, and then when we're done with everything, we go back and try to fuck everything up? Yeah. And plus, it'll be a lot easier because we got the cheat the cheat thing that we can just, like, yeah. skip call. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, Brooklyn, if you're here, click that. <laughs> What the fuck? It's back for more? Completely covered. Um, playback recording again? Sounds similar to like a mouse. Yeah, it kind of sounded like squeaky stuff. Wasn't well, wasn't there a covered hob? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot we can use stuff like that. Uh, common hob. Oh uh, yeah, check common hob. Common species of hob. Small. Oh, maybe it's the stink hob. Oh, the stink there's, hob. There's there's, there's, there, I distinctly remember there being a hob that lives in peach people's kitchens. Uh, uh, there's no sink hob. Bruh. I guess we gotta... Uh, check all the hobs. We got the desk hob. Well, that's obviously not that one. Yeah. Let's see, where's the other? Oh, I did? You passed. Yeah, up, up. Oh, oh yeah, the fresh hop. Oh, that's bad. That's the bad hop. That's uh, a real bad hop. <laughs> Look at the little guy. Just going around breaking things. Rip, oh, it's too late. I can't clip the actual sound redeem. Fuck. A pipe hop. Pipe hop. Unlikely. Ah. Yeah, this is one you're th probably thinking the sink hop. <laughs> yeah. It's... So I think I might just be way off for hobs. Yeah. Wait, I want to see something. Did it talk about this being screen? Uh. Danger by moving the deuce, choose my host, cause I have so chewing, grabbing, and biting. Well, it doesn't have a sound. Right's gonna get this person killed. I am not. Fuck you. Well, you know it's not this. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just a rock. Let's see. Oh wait. So Arthur Porter says it's back for more. Wait, is this someone that we dealt with in the previous game? Probably. I'm just trying to see if it's, like, one of the new ones. I don't think it'd be one of the new ones. Yeah, so we have to we check all the other ones. Let's see. Animation. Probably not. Yeah. What Are there, like, mice or rats that Probably. can be given as options? We got mice. Prison hard squeaking. Hold on, we can see something. All right, let's see if the sound matches. Set play. Sounds a bit different. Uh, so you think it could be a mice? 
It's a raccoon. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Are you trying to say something, Hatchet? What did you say? Discord's like making you sound glitchy. Oh, my fucking internet's doing this shit. Ow. <laughs> oh no. It's your best moment, early. I see, so... Right, did you say a mice? Uh, fuck you. <laughs> you think it's a mouse chew? Uh, not chew. Hatchet. <laughs> or you think it could be something else? <laughs> you know, just having internet issues in the moment. What's the cobalt? Oh, it's the, it's the dog thing. The disguises as oh, the dog. Right. You think it's a mouse? I mean, I can't think of anything else, but... Like, we would have to redo absolutely everything, to be sure. Which I don't think I want to do. Alright, well, if we're wrong, we'll hear them die. <laughs> I love hearing people die. That's stupid weapon. Someone just told me about uh, evidence this morning. This morning, I want you to like, no one to shake data. So, no way until just now. Oh, that sucks, Robin. Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, my cheer level didn't go down. Oh, uh, it might go down later when they call back in. Yeah. Oh, we got another call. I already know what this one is. Yeah, we oh. got the we got the snowman. Yeah. Looking like a bird. All right, have a good night, Robin. Yeah, good night, Robin. Yeah. Got big mounds. Report wet floors. Yeah, it's power outages. Can you? Uh, did you actually like play the sound clip for these? I don't like that. Mm. Yeah, good night, Rabbit. What a, com what a yeah. comfortable set of sounds that we just heard. Yeah, yeah, large humanoid mounds of snow. And it's probably snow golems, most likely. Yeah, I, I, I think no buildings. Like, if we cause the end of the world, uh, it's not our fault. <laughs> I have discovered that this new chair yeah. needs some kind of better cushioning because my ass hurts. Oh no. Now it's fast. Need to know. 
Please, help me get this out to the world before it's too late. I know he's been tracking me. Bigfoot. Yeah, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> You got a serious infestation, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, some of these are easy. Probably because it's like super easy um. to tell. I'm pretty sure it's going to get harder. <laughs> now we just wait for the next call, Hatchet. There's also... Oh. Hi. <laughs> really, Chew? Luckily, I didn't speak till after the sound went. Need more. Need more. What the fuck? Probably sugar wisps. Please hold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks to their influence on the victims, preferred that. Yeah. It's probably them. At first, I was so confused, like, what the fuck could you do with this? I was like, oh yeah, the sugar wisp. <laughs> I knew the mountain hit was real and not crazy after all. Oh my gosh, chill. What is TF? I can't- I hate how Twitch Mobile doesn't show the emotes in the Twitch chat. For me. Oh, well, I don't- I don't see that emote either. What the fuck? Skill issue, shut up. Yeah. So, uh, there's strange noises coming from our basement. I don't know what's down there, but I can hear it scurrying around and making little scratching noises at night. I don't dare go down myself, but my wife said she found little round pellets or something down there. See, here's the problem. There's a, there's, I think there's a couple basement ones. <laughs> yeah. Little round pellets. Yeah. See, I'm trying to figure out where the other ones are. Let's see. Wasn't there a basement hob? Uh, no. Oh. Huh. I forgot which one. Oh wait, I think it was the Bogart I'm thinking of. Uh, the way dealt that it's them. I not mean to click that. It's the whore. <laughs> <The> whore. <laughs> Let's see, um, neighbor's doorway, I forgot which one was, uh, oh, they often appear in basement or cellars, but it's obviously not this. Um, it's a raccoon! <laughs> that's not, it. I mean, that's not even the worst idea. Yeah, actually, let's see, what, did they mention what type of droppings? Skin daily parasites, which you know, ingested can cause press neurological damage or humans or eventual death. Who would ingest fucking raccoon poop? Mm -hmm. Dumb kids. <laughs> my mom was telling me about how when I was a dumb kid, I shoved a crayon up my nose. Okay, uh, actually. I'm going to be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Um, talk with Twitch chat, Hatchet. Everyone wondering, Busta is just fine. That's good. Alright. 
So let's figure it out. Okay, so it has... Wait, I think there's... Hmm. I remember... I know. Huh? Uh, well, I was gonna say, I know that... Uh, like, for basements, mm -hmm. uh, one of the new things is dwarves, but... That doesn't really sound like skittering. Yeah. What were you about to say? I was... I remember reading about something from the past, but it's something skittering around a, a basement or something. Obviously not that. Well, not that either. It's not mice again. Most likely not. Well, uh, look for the... Oh, small round thing? droppings. So yeah, we probably got that first person killed. Yeah. This is most likely mice. It's... Wait, that means that this guy is scared of a mouse. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's just them talking. Let's see, small droppings and sound of squeaking. Report gnaw marks, which is like scratching. Noises. So yeah, it's it's mice. So yeah, we got we got one death. Probably yeah. Unless they threw a curveball and just sent us two mice infestations. Yeah. This is also going by slow as fuck. How long is the DLC? Oh, accuracy one hundred percent. Yeah, it was two mice. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Damn. Well, okay. <laughs> The game's just fucking with us. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, now we're gonna get more... more creatures. Yay. Oh, we got a mail... we got mail this time. Oh no, another message from Rodney. Oh, no. Okay, let me get into Rodney voice. Oh god. Line, check this out. Dude, did, did you see this yet? Everyone keeps uh, forwarding this to me. I can't tell if they're taking it seriously or not. Either way, it's hilarious. Oh, wait, no, that's not how I did it. I think I did like. Ah, dude, <laughs> did you see this yet? Everyone following this to me. <laughs> I can't tell if they're taking it seriously or not, but 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 either way, it's hilarious. Thought you'd get a a kick out of this. Important. Send this five friends immediately. Stop on this day, December twenty third, twenty five years old. Alice Prairie fell into a lake and drowned while ice skating. If you don't forward this to five other people by tonight, you will be drowned in the next lake you visit. Oh, spoopy. <laughs> Just going to the next email. <laughs> Sounds like an Alice prop. Daniel's <laughs> <laughs> Heart Report, uh, December 23rd. 1996. Phenomena sighted at Mentitoba at approximately 1,200 hours. Estimated proximity is around 100,000 miles or 160,934.4 kilometers. Current How risk did you just pronounce that? Shut up. Uh, pronounce the place again, please, Bright. Uh, Manitoba? Manitoba, not Mantitoba. <laughs> like, this is Canadian. It's not that hard. Current risk profile moderate. Okay, so it's getting bigger. Or Manitoba. Literally, all I know about Manitoba is that uh, Curtis Connor described it as the Ohio of Canada. Hell. So I guess it's fitting that it's there. Yeah. 
<laughs> I like how we were so unsure whether or not we actually got hundred <laughs> percent. And you haven't given us a new shit yet. Greetings, Rebecca. It is Carol again. There have been reports of some new activity, so we have gone ahead and made some new information available to thee. I pray things are going well thus far. Thou knowest as well as I what is at stake. I do hope to see thee soon, Rebecca. All right. Okay, so far, no, nothing new. Frost Wisps. Frost Wisps. Oh, that's actually kind of pretty. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Frost Wisps is a subspecies of wisps that commonly take on an appearance of semi-transparent crystallized orbs. Someone is suffering from Frost Wisps often report... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I tried to read. I need someone to come fix our windows. I fear there's a terrible draft coming in, and I wouldn't want anyone at my second family gathering to catch a cold. I'm hosting at least 20 additional family members, and I need this place locked tight for their sakes. Oh. I've already caught something dreadful during our last hosted function, and I don't intend for it to happen again. I already know what it is. <laughs> it's the elves. <laughs> What? Because the elves uh, weaken the immune system. And they also say oh. additional family members. Oh, okay. I think, yeah. Yeah. Homer's, yeah. Homer's suffering from crosswords, often report shivering sensations, a chill in the air, otherwise warm places, and sudden lingering thoughts of their own mortality. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is with all of these Christmas anomalies giving people existential dread? I don't know. Really, Chew? Frostwits are harmless to most mammals and humans in their vicinity, as long as they keep their distance, but co direct contact with a Frostwits can cause hazardous effects such as frostbite. The family girl accent drives me up the fucking wall. Frostwits will remain in a home so long as homeowners continue to linger, Untrue thoughts such as mortality or the prospect of decomposition. <laughs> Homeowners are advised to distract themselves with any manner of cheerful activity, food, or friendly company to keep such thoughts at bay. For more persistent frostbite infestations, it's advised to utilize HSH pest control services. Oh, we got Hans. What? <laughs> Wait, it's just Hans? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I don't like Hans. <laughs> it's not just the German. <laughs> Hans is a human shaped husk of cloth, rags, and straw known for seeking into homes and in domains of affluent, wealthy, and unfor unfortunate. Homes occupied by Hans commonly suffer symptoms such as the appearance of strange markings, the faint sounds of rustling, or occupants suddenly behaving abnormally. So this just affects rich people. Right, Hans is just the giant hand. <laughs> SpongeBob, it's not a big deal. <laughs> oh um, no, God. that doesn't look like that, Hans. This is yeah. a different Hans. While Hans does not directly harm those it, he crosses paths with, Hans can negatively impact the lives of homeowners should he complete the process of occupation. Occupied human adults may commit acts they do not condone, including more hazardous behaviors such as murder, debauchery, and arson. Hmm. <laughs> Homeowners should swiftly evacuate any home suspected of Hans' occupation. Should a family member or loved one be successfully occupied by Hans, it is advised to contact HSH Pest Control Services immediately. Which people condone all of those things. <laughs> Alright, so, I think it's clear that we have a moral obligation yeah. to give the wrong answer if someone has Hans. Oh my god. We need Hans to do their work. <laughs> okay. L Lucy? Lucy? What the fuck? Uh, I don't like this. I'm guessing it might be pronounced Lucy. Alright. 
Uh, Usai is a semi-solid -human humanoid creature, vaguely resembling a pale human woman known for slipping inside homes during hailstorms. Homeowners often report a slimy, semi-transparent substance near openings such as doors, windows, air ducts, and chimneys. Usai can be quite hazardous to any humans or pets it that crosses its path, as Usai is, is known to steal the warmth of warm-blooded mammals, often leaving behind their crumbled, frozen remains. Jesus! <laughs> I'd risk it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's highly advised to quietly hide all warm-blooded inhabitants of a home if Usai is expected to be present and wait patiently for it to pass due on its own. Which means reptiles should be fine, because aren't reptiles cold-blooded? Yeah, rep reptiles would be fine, probably. Yeah. Alright, the next is the mayor. Oh my well, god! Actually, I, I, I guess you should specify most reptiles, because birds are reptiles, and uh, yeah. they're warm-blooded. Right, Aspatri means indulgence in bodily pleasures, so I don't know if the, <laughs> when, where the negative is there. Oh my god. Oh wait, we didn't listen to the audio recording. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Eh, I'd risk it. Oh my god. Next is the <laughs> mayor, which is... Oh, you know what? This is probably a reference to that one tradition where, like, someone has to put on, like, a horse skull mask and go around and ask riddles of of people during uh, the holidays. Cool. I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, I don't remember which culture it is. It might be Welsh. Let me, oh. let me look it up while you start reading. All right. The mayor is a skeletal horse... Like humanoid, draped in a variety of tinsels and fabrics, it's known for its distinct song-like screeching and its tendency to approach the entrances of homes after dark. Homeowners often report the sounds of wailing, screeching, or singing. The mayor yes, poses. Is Welsh. Okay. No, book, book, book uh, Sorry to interrupt. It's fine. The mayor poses little to no danger to humans or ain't. Or animals, it has been known to consume large amounts of a home's food and beverages if invited inside. The mayor cannot be disrupted while feasting. The mayor poses no direct threat to homeowners and can either be invited in to let it feast until it's contented, at which point it'll leave on its own, or it can be safely ignored if homeowners are willing to bear with the noises it creates for a few hours. The use of earplugs or soundproof materials can assist homeowners who do not wish to invite the mayor into their home. Yeah, so it's it's a tradition from South Wales. Ah, uh, cool. Next is ogress. Oh my god. Hmm. Ogresses are large, eight to ten foot cave dwelling creatures, typically only active at high elevations during the winter. Homeowners typically do not experience ogress and ogress directly, but rather report other consequences of its presence, such as Yule Men or Yule Cats. What? I'm guessing that's something that will show up later. Yeah. In some rare instances, an ogress will see fit to visit a home, but they fail to acquire their targets through other means. To their size, their subsequent entrance into a home can prove catastrophic to a roof's home's roofing, foundation, and its inhabitants. To prevent an ogress from entering one's home, it is highly advised to avoid escalating their activities by allowing Yulemans access to a home. Homeowners that wish to avoid the intention of an ogress in the first place can reinforce and advise benevolent behavior in their children. Let's see. Oh, they're down here. Yeah, Yule Cat, Yule Goat, and Yulman. Yulman. Ne yeah, the next one is Winter Fur. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Winter fur is a highly contagious seasonal virus known to cause the rapid growth of white hair like follicles across an infected individual's face, body, and eyes. Ugh. 
Full coverage is expected to occur within the first 48 hours after infection it is most commonly found in mammals and is contracted through direct contact with, with the infected. Subsequent blindness caused by winter fur can create more hazardous conditions and reduce quality of life for those infected. Winter fur is also known to attract other dangerous pests such as a variety of ticks or fleas. So it makes you a furry. I think it does more than that, you. <laughs> I, I think it makes... I, well, it, it, it makes you a furry, but at the cost of a bunch of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like your eyesight. Yeah. Once winter fur and potentially having fleas. <laughs> Once winter fur has completed its growth, it can be mitigated using any variety of traditional shaving equipment, such as razors, to reduce the chances of attracting tick or fleas. An infected individual should be quarantined from other parties indefinitely to avoid spreading the virus further. Bright got winter fur. Fuck off. <laughs> you okay? You okay? That's a big ass cat. <laughs> that yeah, that's a very big kitty. <laughs> Yule cats are large feeling Oh my gosh, really chew. <laughs> Anyways, Yule cats are large feeling like creatures known for prowling populated High elevation areas during the winter, they feed primarily on various textiles and fabrics. Homeowners experiencing yule cats often report sounds of hissing, growling, large paw prints in the snow, and missing clothes or neighbors. Oh, <laughs> he just eats like neighbors. neighbors. <laughs> he just kills neighbors. What, well, just fucking, just fucking <laughs> gobbles them up with their clothes? It's like when someone tries to eat a jawbreaker but doesn't um, take off the wrapper. Yeah. Yokat's diet of fabrics can prove quite hazardous to clothed homeowners if caught in their path. And due to their size and speed, most human adults and children will not survive these sorts of encounters. Yokat's strength also allows them to easily break into homes in search of food if sufficient hungry, damaging doors and, and windows in the process. So, nudist, in order. Nudists stay winning? Yeah, if you're they're nudist. immune to Yokat's. Yeah. If Yokat is expected to act be active in the area, homeowners should take quick action and leave out a variety of fabrics and textiles within a safe distance outside of the home. It's advised to deliver these fabrics completely unclothed. Unclothed. Right. Oh, unclothed. Unclothed. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you always get me once. Yolgo. Oh. <laughs> That's not the Yolgo that I know about. <laughs> <laughs> Description Eel goats are goat shaped apparitions that can sometimes occur in a home during the winter. Homeowners experiencing eel goats often report strange coincidences, sightings, shapes of goats throughout the house, and imagine sounds of bleeding. Uh. <laughs> eel goats are not directly harmful to humans or animals, but their prolonged presence can often cause paranoia or sleep deprivation and affected homeowners. Do I have a yo goat? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Which can sometimes state the carelessness, uh, careless homeowner, household accents such as fires. As soon as a yo goat is su suspected to be present in a household, a humble offering of wheat or straw can be made in appeasement. For more persistent infestations, it's highly is advised to use lies HSS H pest control services. All right, the How the hell man. do I get a yule goat? Oh. I, I, oh. Oh, why do they look like gnomes, but their heads are the thumbs from Spy Kids? Evil cat neighbors. Yeah. Description. Yule men are a subspecies of gnome that appear as small... Wait, did we get the sounds? Previous ones? No, we didn't do yule cat. I'm sorry about that. Jesus Christ. If I heard that, I won't be thinking of a cat. <laughs> I'd be thinking of uh, leaving. Yeah. Immediately. Running away. Yeah. 
The old manner of subspecies Venona appears that appear as small, hairy humanoids with pointed craniums. Oh, really? <laughs> that are, are most often seen. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> yeah. Traveling in packs of 13 or more. Huh. Homeowners infested with yeoman often report broken windows, stolen food, sounds of clattering or giggling, and more rarely, missing pets or children. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yulemen are harmless to human adults, but can be a safety hazard for household pets that are small enough to eat and human children who have been attracted, who have attracted the attention of an ogress. Yulemen will typically leave a home on their own once sa satisfied with their taking. To prevent Yulemen from entering one's home, homeowners, homeowners may board up windows and close off sufficient large openings such as chimneys. But in most circumstances, this is highly inadvisable. No, my tax break. Alright, so... Oh, wait. First... Okay. First, let's... I, I, I'll prove it. It's an elf. Go back. Well, yeah. I, I, I remember now, so it's... it's you're yeah. good. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, a lot of these creatures are a lot more disturbing than the, the previous game one. Uh, I feel like they're about on par. Yeah. I'll probably get the rest of them uh, in the next day. The damn old man took my tax benefit. Alright. Please say I could change it! Please, how old? Uh, Frost Wisp. Or whatever it was. I think it's a Frost Wisp. Oh, yeah, th Frost Wisp. Harmless to most mammals and humans in the Vestini as long as they keep their distance, but direct contact uh -oh. above. Places in sending and lingering thoughts of their own mortality. Is that what you're thinking it is? Oh. Uh, any manner of cheerful activity. Don't <laughs> changing. That might be it. I was just kind of thinking of a time wisp. Because it means oh, essential God. dread. Oh, Not not causing dead. intense anxiety or stress. That have witnessed their fates to be. Alright. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I think it's more of a time wisp. Yeah. So Chu showed up in their house and they developed existential dread. <laughs> Good job, Chu. Yeah. Wait, in this one, the time was passed on their own, of course, a single night. No further action is required. We just tell them, uh, fuck off. Deal with it. <laughs> Thanks, Bright. What? Thanks, Bright. What did I do? Oh. Was it because I... I mean, you're welcome. Typing hard. Out. <laughs> oh. There's some kind of dying animal in our yard. Can you send someone out to put it out of its misery? It's been screaming like hell for the past hour, and I'm far too squeamish to go look at it or touch it myself. My son is only 10 years old, and he's very worried about the poor thing, so please hurry. I don't... Please it hold. could be the mayor. I was thinking the antlers. Oh, the, the antler gross. Yeah. 
There's some water movement in their host. Oh, yeah. Do, do they make <laughs> sounds, though? Uh... Let's see where it says it makes sounds. Cause there was I was a screeching sound. Yeah, there was a screeching sound, but I mean, if it's like messing with the host corpse's motor controls, I could imagine they could make that sort of sound. Yeah. Do you not have a shovel, ma'am? Do it yourself. There's a picture towards living. You should say such as calling and grabbing, biting. Uh... Yeah, I, I think I'll go with ant for gross. Because it didn't describe more like coarse like, it just said dead animal. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just passed it. <laughs> Yeah, because it said it was more horse like I would be leaning on to the mare. Yeah, like, if, if we had indication of horse-related anything, yeah. mare, but I think this is a safe bet. Yeah. What the- Oh, no. Nope. It was I, not oh, antler growths. It, it was not antler growths. Never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, so it'll tell us immediately if we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, because it says screeching right here. It was most likely a mare. Because uh, if you look at it, it, it looks like a dead animal. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Ugh, I think Betty's cat is on the prowl. I need someone to come put that beast down. First, Betty doesn't show up to the PTA meeting this week, and now it seems her cat is on the loose again, leaving its disgusting Beast, beast bowls of feathers. Oh, 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 oh no! I think it's the oh, um. Oh no, the feathery. Yeah, the feathery. What? Where is it? Where are you? False carolers. Let's make sure. Large feathers appearing around neighborhood doorsteps. Yep, it's the. F it's yeah. Which means, uh, that neighbor's probably dead. <laughs> yeah, rip to that neighbor. <laughs> but on the bright side, they didn't have to go to the PTA meeting. <laughs> yeah. Can we let the giant cat war all for, for her, please? She sounds like a triple person. Well, I don't think it's the Yule Cat. She was... Well, it's not the Yule Cat. I think she was just oh. mentioning that they would like mi Miss... Miss Holly to be consumed. Alright. Which I think I agree yep. with. Alright, okay, you're yeah, correct. correct. Yep. I like the designs of the creatures, though. Well, yeah. This game has always had impeccable designs. The ghost kit wanted sick it on I mean, so far we haven't done too bad. We're at like 91.9%. Yeah, we've lost only one. Yeah. I think there's some kind of mold problem in our house. Oh? I keep finding this nasty kind of uh, thick slime residue near the air vents, and I think it's scaring the pets. Our poor cat hasn't wanted to come back inside yet, so I need this fixed as soon as possible. This might be one of the old ones. Oh, no, no, it's it's probably not. Please hold. You think so? Slimy stuff near an air vent. I can't think of what it would be. <sighs> I was talking about being horny over it. Um, are you? S oh shit! Although I forget what it's actually called. Lucy. Oh, yeah, Lucy. Lucy. Yeah, slimy, semi-transparent substance near opening such doors, window, air ducts, and chimneys. Okay, so this person's probably gonna be dead soon. 
<laughs> yeah. If you don't get rid of her. Or you could just accept the fate and risk it. I mean, what's, wait. what's the matter? Wait, you have to wait patiently for the past to do it on its own. We don't do anything. <laughs> We're just oh, still... yeah, okay, so you just have to hide all warm-blooded inhabitants. <gasps> yeah. You just gotta get her to either leave the house or hide in a closet or something. Yeah, I was thinking like one of the old ones, and I... then you made me remember it. How long is this DLC supposed to be? I think it's I only till it's like deep. the next day, and then Christmas, because it's counting down to Christmas. So it's probably. Oh yeah, and there was the and there was the uh, Christmas party after it. Yeah. That was mentioned. Yeah. Oh, it's in my house. My son let it inside the house, and now it's drinking and eating everything. Oh, what is that? Oh, no, put that down. Mayor. Oh. Yeah, because remember it, it says in here. Mayor cannot be dis disrupted while feasting, and it also goes after people's homes, food, and beverages, and fight it inside. Wait, I didn't even... Oh, she they're dead. Oh, well, that's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> well, that was easy. Oh my god, I think there's an avalanche outside! Our home is right below the mountain! Please send someone over before it's too late! Please hold. Um... I think you f pissed off a mountain warlock? Yeah. Uh, shaking or occasional avalanches. Yeah, and those sounds kind of sounded like warlock sounds. Yeah. What? Oh, they are they work on a mountain. Yeah. Because I see the hard hat. Uh, yeah. So you just pissed it off. <laughs> yeah, I got a little too close to the mountain warlock. Sorry, guy. Yeah. I mean, Christmas. Wait, what, what would happen if I had a personal army oh, of your cats? Okay, it's always... It, it was an actual, just standard avalanche. Great. Damn. Did you even bother helping? That guy is clearly dead anyway. <laughs> well, they're dead. <laughs> He called back just to scream into the phone. <laughs> See? The doctors told me to call here. I think I caught some kind of dog disease. Oh. My neighbor's freak dog sneezed on me or something, and now it's growing on me. Oh, I know what it is. Underneath my skin, this horrid little bump forming. It's hurting very badly. Please, can you tell me what to do? Please hold. Where is Under it? Under the skin. Where is it? Are you thinking of Rudolph or whatever? Yeah, Rudolph. Or Red Nose. Yeah, Red Nose. Yeah, Red Nose can uh, can uh, human via the spores it releases once blossom, which means if it sneezed, it, it could spread. That's what I'm thinking. I think it's red snows. Oh yeah, but like pain under the skin, he didn't specify that it had anything to do with his nose. Hmm. What does uh winter fur do? Does it cause pain? I. It just covers you in your hair. I mean, it makes you yeah. blind. But I don't think it causes pain. It doesn't say pain. I'm going with my yeah, gut. It's, yeah, it's... Yeah. We will know <laughs> if we fuck up. Oh, it was Red Nose. Okay, yeah. It was Red Nose. Because you would think that it... Maybe it's just called Red Nose because it commonly shows up on the nose, but it can show up anywhere. Yeah. Someone is coming into 
my home. Your security cameras broke on me, so I can't see who it is. I can hear their shoes squeaking or something in the footage when they came in to steal my Santa outfit. Do you have some kind of policy compensating your customers for selling them faulty equipment? Stealing a Santa outfit. Shoes squeak. At first, when it said a Santa outfit, I thought it was the eel cat because it goes after clothing. But. Yeah, but it's like getting into the house? Yeah. It's squeaking. Well, it's not them. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there, like, something in, like, the original stuff that had to do with clothing? A laundry now? The body is in a very strange so one. How much is the laundry now? I'll turn report loud, right on your bank. Sounds from a washing machine or missing socks. Ah, that doesn't sound like it. Yeah. Be dwarves? Or no, probably not. Nah, they they burrow. They wouldn't be breaking into the house. Uh, this one, okay, it's getting harder. Yeah. I'm just waiting for this to pop up. <laughs> hey, can you help me? Someone put a giant thing of charcoal on my front lawn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it Hans? <laughs> oh wait, that's right. Hans. Yeah. She caused the straw sticking it. Cause he negatively impacted the lives of homeowners today. Complete presentation. Uh, I was talking about Hans. Doing strange markings, faint sounds of rustling. Occupants suddenly behaving abnormally. But I didn't mention strange markings. <laughs> it doesn't say it takes like no, it's clothes. clothes. It's just made out of cloth. Yeah. This one's tricky. Yeah. Is it an ogress? <laughs> Probably not. Um, hmm. Squeaking. Uh, Here, play the audio clip again. Someone is coming into my home. Your security cameras broke on me, so I can't see who it is. I can hear their shoes squeaking or something in the footage when they came in to steal my Santa outfit. Do you have some kind of policy compensating your customers for selling oh. faulty equipment? I know it is. I know what it is. Uh, however, however, during the winter, they would deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets, articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes and claim they hear shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. I guess that could be the this, this squeaking sound. Here, play it. Okay, yeah, that that yeah. seems about right. So it is an old one. Uh, uh, where's Troll? Troll, 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 Troll. There we go. Come on. Yeah! It was a troll! It was a troll! Damn troll! 75% accuracy. Waste of resources and taxpayer dollars. You get a C. <laughs> hey, look, in America, that's passing. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah.
Oh no, Rodney again. All right. Okay, I think I'm ready to be Rodney. You seven to reach your chat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I don't know if you've heard already, but the pest control department has been panicking and sending out vans all morning. I think something big might be going down. Might be going down. I know you have a lot on your plate already, so I figure I'd give you a heads up. Also, happy Christmas Eve. I'll be freaking bad a good year, Rodney. So we're probably going to get some more dangerous creatures now. I love dangerous creatures. Isn't that right, Festus? You're yeah. very dangerous. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to get another phone call about the one dying. <laughs> Maybe. See, yeah. Hey, Daily Twilight Report, December 24th, 1996. Phenomena sighted across North Dakota. Oh, it's in America now. <laughs> approximately 200 hours. Estimated proximity is around 50,000 miles or 80,467.2 kilometers. While active feeding range. Permits profile moderate to high. Tier levels should be closely monitored. Oh my god, look. It's... It's... It looks like it's, it's getting way brighter. Okay. Alright. Anyways, let's reset weekly progress. No, kidding. <laughs> well, let's just be frank. If... If... The... Yeah. If the Twilight's looking for misery, it should be starting in the States. Yeah. Or in Africa. It's like a Northern Lights thing. How would it... Most of most of Africa's in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, I, I was saying that because of suffering. It feeds on suffering and misery. Well, that's, yeah. That's why I said... <laughs> Never mind. All right, ready to hear new creatures hatchet? Uh, sure. Not me sitting here trying to weigh whether or not what you said could be considered offensive. Oh no. Maybe. I think it largely would need to come with the caveat of. Oh. Pest control. Listen up. The Mouse King is loose, and it's our understanding he means to stir up trouble of the Yuletide variety. <laughs> what? My boys are working around the clock to find him and stop him in his tracks before things get too hairy, but sometimes things slip through the cracks. Little things, if you get my meaning. If you hear anything strange, let us know as soon as you can. There's new data coming your way. Read it carefully. Keep those eyes peeled. Hudson out. Chew, what are you doing? <laughs> Slowly growing in strength. Well, she was saying that the twilight is Chu, so Chu is. <laughs> but as I was going to say, I feel like it would be most appropriate to. Uh... You're saying? Exactly. I'll follow up the thing you said by mentioning exactly what led. To Africa having so much suffering? Uh, is, you're uh, right. Colonialism? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah. We need someone to come check our house for damage. I think I felt an earthquake last night. Really, chill. Across the street crying about something with the police. So I'm fairly sure whatever happened must have been enough to damage our property. Please hold. All right, I, I already do not like the bell snickle. Hmm. Bell snickle sounds like it'd be like some obscure medieval slur. Oh my god. Stay ahead so I don't get caught. Anyways, bell snickle is a human-shaped pine-based 
Life form that is known to visit on winter nights adorned in animal furs and a wooden mask, bearing a friendly visage. Homeowners experiencing a bell's nickel often report break ins, finding berries, sap, pine needles, or scratch marks on the floor, or dead pets. <laughs> Oh, that escalated quickly. <laughs> what is with these creatures and constantly killing pets? I mean, easy to kill, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Nelsicles do not pose any mortal harm to humans they encounter, but they are known to occasionally lash out at those they perceive as wrongdoers. Their presence can be highly hazardous to any furry mammals or pets in the house They sh should they require more pelts. The berries they occasionally leave behind are both safe to eat and delicious. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Snickles will usually pass through a home and move on to others by the end of a single night. Multiple visits to a single home are rare, but more persistent visitations may be a sign of troublesome moral activities occurring inside the home. Alright, so what I'm hearing is the Bell Snickle. Is a very morally questionable furry who goes around killing people's pets to make their fur suit and leaving behind berries as paint. <laughs> and Chu says, "What's a furry?" <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if I should be able. To, I should say its name. <laughs> what? The gift tag? Oh, I wasn't sure if "tag" is a bad word. I forgot if it was not or not. I mean, well, like, it's it's derogatory generally, but it's not like... Yeah. The, it's not like a particularly bad word. Okay. To my knowledge, at least. Alright. The gift tag is a humanoid creature somewhat resembling an elderly wo human woman with a smiling face, covered in suit or soil. It is known to quietly slip slip into homes during the winter, not often leaves behind trinkets such as makeshift dolls, wooden idols, or sharp twigs and rockets. And rocks. Okay, right. Yes. Pronounce the word foot real quick. How do you pronounce the word foot? Foot. Okay. How do you spell foot? F O O T. Okay. So, given that convention, how would S O O T be pronounced? Oh, soot. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what you said, but it was not soot. Is this what you care? Not do you care about pet words? You have a no swearing with D. Shut up. I wasn't sure if it was a really bad thing to say or not. Okay, shut up. Yeah, right. Bright was Bright was being a bit cautious because she has the tendency to unknowingly say very offensive things. Shut up. <laughs> the gift tag and its gifts are mostly harmless to humans, though careless play with sharp frocks and twigs can often result in human children injuring themselves. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about that one time Bright read that poem for an SCP. <laughs> no! <laughs> if homeowners wish to keep the gift tag from entering their home during the winter, they may choose to close off access to the home's chimney. Next is the hunt. Oh wait, we didn't even hear what it sounds like. I keep doing that! I... Oh, okay. Okay, chill. The hunt! Oh. The hunt is a storm-like fungal weather phenomenon that carries with its large quantities of infectious snow-like s'mores. But uh, spores. Spore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mass-producing marshmallow, chocolatey, graham crackery sweets. <laughs> Why did you say s'mores? <laughs> Homeowners caught in the hunt call and report thunder, blizzards, electrical outages, and violent or erratic behavior from neighbors. Oh, this might actually be here. This one. 
The hunt's powerful winds can often cause trees or break to break or fall, which can lead to dangers such as property damage, electrical outages, or fires. The hunt's spores, if ingested, can also cause unpredictable and hazardous symptoms in humans, such as color blindness, physical deformations, and cannibalistic desires. <laughs> Again, what's with the escalation? <laughs> Like, oh, you can't see blues very well. Uh, you may be bound to a wheelchair. Oh, and you might want to eat your boyfriend, Fred. You want to eat Fred? Maybe you've got the hunt going on. Fred, I think you need a nap. Shut up. If... I didn't do it. If the hunt is expected to pass through one's neighborhood, homeowners can take measures to keep safe by quarantining themselves with an a basement, cellar, or other underground shelter until the storm and ensuing panic passes. It is advised to keep an emergency supply of food, medicine, and water stocked for such an occasion. Alright. The locomotive! <laughs> Wait, is this based off Polar Express? Might be. Yeah, the locomotive is a large, segmented, train-like organism. It is. <laughs> that was easy. I can only see my animals and human children. Yep. It's known to only appear after nightfall. After the 21st of December, homeowners affected by the locomotive often report the floor rumbling at night, distant whistling, snow falling in strange patterns, or missing children. <laughs> mm. Locomotive is harmless to human adults, but but can prove particularly harmful to eat or even fatal to human children if they choose to enter the, its domain. Children bearing sufficient faith are known to return the following morning, however. There is no sol known solution for removing the locomotive from an occupied area while it has stopped. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> However, the locomotive only remains in one location for a few minutes at a time to track its prey, before it will move on to another territory on its own to prevent harm. Children and pets should be supervised or kept indoors. <laughs> you have to believe in Santa to come home. <laughs> yeah. Just gotta, just gotta tell your kids. Oh, oh there's the mouse king. Oh, here's. Do what you do. Oh wait, we need, we need to listen to the locomotive first. Why are you always forgetting to play these? I don't know. This is a very quiet train. Yep, that sounds like a train. A very distant, spoopy train, but a train. <laughs> yeah. Alright, the Mouse King. They should have made it sound like Tom Hanks. Oh my god. <laughs> I would be I would laugh if I hit play and just choose voice. <laughs> the Mouse King is a prominent member of a traitor's clan of mice. <laughs> recruiting what? and leading them into nefarious activities such as riots, heists, and assassinations. <laughs> what? What the f what the, <laughs> what? Ah. Who the fuck opens a description of something with just no context added? This is a prominent member of a traitorous clan of mice. Are we supposed to be aware of the clan activities of mice? Are we supposed to be aware of mice politics now? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Homeowners with the mouse keen often report sounds of squeaking, scratching, and seeing strange mice behavior such as mass coordination or attempts at communication. Danger. Mouse keen poses an incredible threat to all living things, and its destruction should be immediately prioritized. The mouse keen should be stopped at all costs by any means necessary. Homeowners are highly encouraged to use lethal removal methods, including but not limited to mouse traps, toxic sprays, sharp implements of or any licensed firearms. I just gotta fucking shoot the mouse. If homeowners do not oblige, they are advised to utilize HSA pest control services. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I wonder if they are just putting this here 
you cover up, um, because if you fail the in the previous, not in the DLC, but in the main game, if you fail, you get turned into a mouse. Oh, so I wonder if the mouse right. king is a previous person. Oh. Oh yeah. So yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all coming together. Yeah. Hate to break it to you, but I'm bulletproof, bitch. <laughs> Okay, how the fuck do I say this? And what the fuck? Arch top. Arch top. I'm trying to remember. There's a. Fuck, what's her name? Baba Yaga. Thank you! She sort of looks like her. Thank you. I couldn't remember her name for the life of me. Alright, Pushta is a large. Humanoid creature vaguely resembling an elderly woman, an elderly human woman with a beak like nose and long sheet like skin. Pershta is known for entering homes full of refuse, chaos, and filth. Ooh. Homeowners experiencing Pershta often report break ins, nightly sounds of clattering, and shed skin on the floors. Wait, did we click this, the sound in here? No, we did not. <laughs> God damn it! I got it. Stop doing the that. Same sound. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same sound file as the standard mouse. Probably. Yeah, Persia is Persia is incredibly dangerous to house homeowners, inhibiting its chosen domains. As it will often utilize nearby humans as makeshift scarecrows to keep other pests at bay. Most human adults do not usually survive this process. Uh, Pershta cannot be easily or safely removed from a home and is claimed, so it is advised for homeowners to immediately evacuate the premises if Pershta is suspected to be present. Homeowners are advised to prevent Pershta from being attracted to their homes in the first place by keeping their homes clean and free of filth. Mm. <laughs> I like how the next two is the saint and the sinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if the Satan is the bad one and the sinner is the good one. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a Santa. <laughs> Wait, god oh, damn it! No. I did it again! <laughs> I keep getting the audio samples. Which one? Wait, I just realized, looking at the picture, I think its eye is right there. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Well, that's disturbing. I've got to sc stop skipping audio samples. <laughs> Alright, the saint is a warlock, sometimes assembling a bearded, elderly human male, adorned in thick robes, often seen riding a pale horse-like creature. The saint is known for traveling through snowstorms at night, leaving strange artifacts on the doorsteps of homeowners. It's Santa. <laughs> what did I get? Often the Santa's arrival is followed by the sinner shortly afterward. Oh my gosh, it's Santa and Krampus. <laughs> oh no. The acceptance of the artifacts granted by the saint by bringing them within one's home can often result and a gift receiver experiencing great fortune and luck for a span of 30 years. After a 30-year period, the saint will return to collect their due. It's not advised to accept those gi these gifts. Oh. Hmm. While the saint cannot be prevented from delivering their gifts, homeowners can simply remove the gifts from their doorsteps and burn them outdoors to prevent accidental acceptance. It is, however, highly advised to wait until morning after the following day to remove th these gifts. <laughs> the center. Yup, it's Krampus. Oh, wait a minute. God, God fucking damn it! There needs to be a counter on the on 
on a screen at some point where it just shows me skipping every audio sample. <laughs> See ya. The center is a large bipedal goat-like creature known for breaking into homes and devouring human children, usually arriving after a snowstorm has passed. Oh. Okay. Homeowners owners often report the sounds the sound of chains or hooves, broken doors or windows, and missing children. So yeah, it's based off Krampus. Yeah. The center is is highly dangerous to human children that cross his path, as it's known to ravenously attempt to devour them on sight. Human adults are too large to eat and are eat are not usually at risk unless they attempt to come between the center and its feast. The center will not enter the homes of those with a gift from the saint at their doorstep. As such, it is highly advised to not remove these gifts on the night of the snowstorm. The center will continue to move from home to home once it's successfully fed. So yeah, if you keep the gift, you can keep this fucker out. Oh, oh it's a white. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm now remembering that one Resident Evil clip where where I say, I say we're killing all, all these whites. We yeah. told you we could just call them bites. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you were so confused when I said that too. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't thinking about <laughs> whites like this. Yeah. Alright. Whites are misshapen. Former humans have been exposed to the effects of the hunt. Oh. Coming in a variety of unfortunate bodily configurations, whites are known for their wild and unpredictable violent behavior. Homeowners experiencing whites often report sounds of gur gurgling, coughing, or hacking. Whites are highly dangerous and will attempt to bite or otherwise harm most humans and animals on sight. Their relative speed and strength can widely vary, though most direct encounters are fatal. Whites are yeah. Whites are generally have very short lifespans and often perish on their own, usually within 48 hours. So they're clansmen. Oh my god. For, oh, med no. for medical disadvantages granted to them by their particular body configuration, more persistent whites can be removed with the use of any nearby sharp implements. Licensed firearms are through HSH Pest Control Services. <laughs> and remember, kids, you can get rid of your local clansmen infestation with a gun. Get a gun. Okay, so hold on. An earthquake, they hear... A fire... I'm kind of... Th I think this might be... A hunt. A hunt, yeah, because then it was, it was the godless hindrance across the street crying about something with the police. So I'm very sure whatever happened must have been probably damaged to our property. Well, actually... No. Uh, final erratic behavior... No, it's not that erratic. Wait, wait, hold on. It actually might be... Oh, fuck, what's, what's his name? The Mountain, uh... Warlock this time. It was a rumbling shake and occasional avalanches. Fit it? Last night. Er... Put back up. Yeah. Er, play the audio clip again. someone to come check our house for damage. I think I felt an earthquake last night. And this morning, I noticed those godless Hendersons across the street crying about something with the police. So I'm fairly sure whatever happened must have been enough to damage our property. Hmm. Wait, is that this the mold that infected JK Rowling? Oh my god. And this one's hard. Hmm. Their earth-shaking incantations can additionally cause severe damage to home's foundation. Mm. I guess, yeah, like, based upon all that, I'd say that 
probably our best bet is the Warlock. Yeah, we'll know if we fuck up. Yeah. Come on. Fuck! Damn. That's twice now we used the Mountain Warlock when we're wrong. <laughs> Rip. One of the new ones. Cut it or. The, the, the tackle. I, I think we've heard something something cackling before. The right, recent one. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what it was. Wouldn't be the standard hob, would it? No. I don't think so. I'm trying to remember, what was that thing? That Maybe hurt? the mare? I think the mare screeches. And you have to let it inside the house or it won't go oh, in. Oh, right, yeah. It's obviously not that. <laughs> Probably... Yeah, I don't think it's a clansman. Yeah. Is, it, is anyone actually gonna call about the Twilight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, um. Hmm. Cackling. Uh, homers, uh, uh, experience per shot off of break-ins, nightly sounds of clattering and shed skin on the floors. Doesn't raid your pantry, though. Yeah. Cackle. What about the okras? Nah, it's no. Too Wait! Human. Greetings to the Trinity Thursday morning. What's the festival report? Such as food, food, sounds of clattering or giggling, or, and more rarely, missing pets or children. Ah, uh, yeah, so it might be Yulman. Yeah, so yeah. Let's hear the audio sample, just in case. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd guess Yul Yulman. Yeah. Let's see if we're right. Hey! Yep. It was the oh, Yulman. Yeah, good catch. <laughs> yeah. Good catch. It took me a moment to figure it out. The yeah. joyous merry men. Honestly... We're doing better than the first time run we did in the original game. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah. Only three wrong. Yeah. This far. Happy. It's in the ceiling. Oh, you'll go. Please it's not go. a demon, it's just a goat. Why yeah. why why are people mean to the goat? They're yeah. just hanging. Oh, prolonged presence can often cause paranoia. Maybe maybe in fucking losers. It's like this was an easy one. 
Yeah, that's the stupid thing you see. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Yummy <Easy> goat. <laughs> Wait, what happens if you eat what, like, if it has the yogurt on it? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we kind of. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna say third time's the charm with the mountain warlock. <laughs> it's gonna be a meme now. It's gonna be a meme now. <laughs> we hear shaking or loud noises. This is gonna be mountain warlock. Yeah, earthquake, mountain warlock. <laughs> Cause severe damage Slight to the foundation. Yeah. Slight draft in your house, mountain warlock. Yeah, it's. I swear to fuck, if this is not the mountain warlock. <laughs> so I think every time we got it wrong it was a mountain warlock. Yeah, like, well, not every time, but two of the times. Yeah. I'm sure she's fine. I swear to fuck, if it's not mountain warlock. <laughs> okay. God <damn> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, chew. Chew? Chew. You don't have anything to confess? <laughs> when going incognito, the uh, Rat King decided to dress up as a Super Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> and got a dragon boyfriend. That too. Oh, I know what this is. Send somebody over to find this thing and get it the hell out of my place. Hey, sit quiet, boy. Sit down, hey. It's the bell snickle. Dorothy. Dorothy. Why are you all straight? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, pine needles or scratch marks on floor. It's all sap. Yeah. Or dead pets. Yeah. Okay, that dog's not gonna be happy in yeah, one get, time. Get the pooch me away from the unethical furry. <laughs> Bell snickle. Watch, our last call's actually gonna be in a mountain game. <laughs> a mountain warlock. <laughs> 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 I'll bite all their redacted if they chase me. Oh, Buster. You okay? Since when did you get on my bed? Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Alright, I'm back. Oh, you're back? Okay. <laughs> oh, that was probably the person we killed. Ah, good for them. <laughs> oh, you know what? It might have been the, uh, the charcoal. Oh, shit. Yeah. Also, is Bust all right? Yeah, he got sick on the bed. Oh. Join some 
some kind of cult. He's not acting like himself lately, and I found what looked like satanic symbols in the attic, along with what looked like a, a scarecrow in the center. Please hold. That Hans. No, that ain't Hans. It might be the, the uh, Baba Yaga looking lady. The Pershta? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of kind of breaking that it sounds clearly kind of shed skin on the floors. Just means often recognize make ships make ships scare crows to keep other pets at bay. Most human adults do not usually survive the process. But my husband has joined some kind of cult. He's not acting like himself lately and found it with those some satanic symbols. Huh. I don't I it might not be a Pershta then. Yeah, I don't think there is that. Wait, is it does this make people do something satanic shit? Uh no. Um, uh, house, find with their fortune. Talk about symptoms such as appearance of strange markings, faint sounds of rustling, occupants suddenly behaving abnormally. Oh, right. Well, oh, so yeah, so it probably is Hans. Yep. And wait, remember, remember, we mentioned that since Hans, uh, uh, attacks the, the, the affluent and wealthy, it is a moral obligation for us to not inform them correctly. As such, yes, it's a mountain warlock. <laughs> <laughs> um... If we doom the world, then so be it. <laughs> Resolve your interpersonal religious disputes. <laughs> yeah, I'll say what I I think. That guy, I'm sick after this. Oh. Oh. Something on my property. Well, we know what this one is. <laughs> uh. Giant rock. Oh, wait. Does, does that thing, like, come with people moving rocks around? Let's see. I'm going to be around our homes during winter. I was to caution. Uh, sorry, the hazardous homes to heaven says ground centered formation. Prior to sink lower and deep pit is formed. Damage in the host foundation in the process. Prevent homeowners from leaving. We're going to switch and prevent damage to our homeowner advice seeking aid of ones conducting the clock. And bringing either an offer of gold or the firstborn child. If no negations are possible, it's advised to vacate the home as soon as possible. Hmm. So there are people. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Also, I'm kind of distracted because I do have someone I'm talking with in DM, so I'm not all here. You want me to play it again? No, it, it, it's alright. I heard most of what I need to hear. I don't think there's anything else that talks about moving big ass rocks. I, for a second there, I, I read false carolers as false calories. <laughs> that, false calories. <laughs> just like, an, uh, just like a new way to describe empty calories. <laughs> I think it's a clock. I mean, that's your gut. I'm not paying very much attention, though. So, this one might, if, if it's not that, then it's on you. Yeah. <laughs> it was correct. Yep. Sweet. Okay, here we go. Another one. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about Buston. Damn it. Oh, rather improve their own skills, they decided 
to break into our home last night and steal our post office. I found poor little postman Peter collapsed in pieces on the floor right next to a big hole with the burned remains of our post office inside. Oh, the police won't do anything. Can you come and perform a citizen's arrest? What the fuck was I just listening to? I don't know. I'm assuming they're talking about gingerbread men. Burned remains. Please hold. Yeah, but anyway, um, I found out cleaning Bus's vomit. Apparently, he, I didn't give it to him, but apparently there's Cajun fries from Five Guys got into his system, which is probably oh. causing him to be upset. Yeah, that's that's not good. No. He's okay now. Where is he? He's not by the door. Oh, he's on his dog bed. I couldn't see him in the dark. He's sleeping now. He probably got it all out of his system. Fuck, but what could this be? <laughs> what? Which one? Wait, hold on. Did they... Burned remains of our post office inside? Dwarf infestation of report increased heat in their home. Or cl clatter or bang sounds and finding rumble or holes in basements or cellars. A big hole with the burned remains of our post office inside. Could be a dwarf, but I'm not so sure. Um. Hey, this one's hard. Yeah, that's, this is hard. It's Chew. <laughs> the, the assassin the, 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 the fucking post office guy. <laughs> um... In the yard next to a big hole. So it's outside, which means it's on the ground. It might be a dwarf, but it, it's hard. Because there's not as much big information. Living in underground burrows, sometimes extend their territory to human homes. They don't talk about yeah, increased talking heat. talking about basements or cellars. Yeah. The judge is taking an hey, action. Play the audio log again. Yeah. Someone stole our competition out from under us. I know it's those no good Derricksons. They've always been jealous of us taking the annual Grand Gingerbread Master Award. Or rather, in improve their own skills, they decided to break into our home last night and it's Wait, so scroll up in the thing. Dang it. Uh, big. Yeah. On the floor. Pieces on the floor in the yard. Yeah. Next to a big hole with the burned remains. the opposite side. So something that burns things goes into the ground. Oh. I was also thinking fresh or hot, but they don't go in the ground. Hey. Yeah. Don't remember if they do or not. So they're at the fresh session science and trying to look fresh up there, so I have a blah. So I should say. Every phone wants to nest for the danger for the for the same thing as soon as possible. Spice leaving slice and cheese every night before one bed. Yet yeah, doesn't mention they're going in the ground. I don't mention this with heat going in the I, ground as dwarves. Yeah. It, does it talk about, like, it doesn't talk about them 
trying to eat. What did they eat again? Uh, insects, soil, and rocks. Okay, well, maybe it's not a dwarf. Yeah, so, like, why would they attack the gingerbread men? Yeah. Can't be them, hmm. then. It might be an old one. No, there's no point going in the ground. It's not... I'm pretty sure it's not antler growths. <laughs> yeah, it's not antler growths. Not you. That doesn't talk about going in the ground. Peppy, get out the of there. You're going to get yourself hurt, you little shitbag. Um, um, Okay. It's fine. No, it wouldn't be them. Is it Hans again? <laughs> I don't think it's Hans. It's definitely not the Horde. <laughs> nah. This one's hard. Wait, lamp spray? No, that would be in a lamp. Never mind. Yeah. They do get hot, but uh, fuck. This one's hard. Night gnome? What's the night gnome? Night. Oh, wait. That's the ogre. Oh, that's the one that, that waits outside phase dreams, I think. All right. Hmm. Why don't you actually be the mouse game? I really doubt it. <sighs> Shouldn't push this time. Mm. Sounds kind of shining on the grounds. That was it. Just mains often utilizing it right here to make sure blah blah blah. Talk about burning or making a hole in the ground. So what does the good. saint do again? Saint. Uh, let's see, it's not traveling around snowstorms. Uh, certain gifts will be uh, get receivers seem great fortune or luck to spend in thirty years after the theory of saint. It doesn't talk about burning or going in holes. Damn. Way breaking in. Decided to break into our home last night. Oh wait, this goes after fabrics. Never mind. Yeah. Oh wait, it's pretty quiet. Has this close? Yeah. Being a product of fabrics, so it's probably not after gingerbread. <laughs> yeah. This is just. I don't, Only I don't we... know. The only one we get close to is the dwarf. I guess try the dwarf. What about the variety of Hobbs and Bogarts? Uh, well. That thing is cause such as flood, yeah. fires, electrical outages. They also frequently serve their targets while they sleep. So dangerous human pets do their most just slightly household activities and cause often cause injury or death. They also react very violently when they see humans, but thankfully these instances are rare and excel at staying hidden. Okay, probably not the I I guess yeah, I guess just go with dwarves. I I definitely can't think of anything else. Yeah. Hmm. 
We're probably wrong. Yep. We doomed the world. Ugh. We increased Chu's power. What have we done? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. sure who else to call about this but, okay um something very weird is going on in our neighborhood some strange man in a, a large trench coat and halloween mask is going around ringing neighbor's doors carrying some kind of paper or, or a note he hasn't come to my house yet but i'm very afraid of what they might be up to pepper 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 stop scratching the door he's going to think we're home at first, I thought it was the saint, but they don't wear a mask. Wait, the mayor! Think it's the mayor? You were draped in a variety of tinsels and fabrics. There's no distinct. Because it looks like it has a mask to them, maybe? What about, what about the caroler? False carolers? Yeah. Light draped in many layers of clothing that are known for pleasant singing vocalizations. For which interest of homes after dark, affecting false carolers of fort sounds of singing, missing neighbors, or large feathers appearing on neighborhood doorsteps. Mm. Could be? I guess check the center. Well, I think the center just breaks into homes. <laughs> I should break. Breaking into homes. Yeah, they would just break in. <laughs> It could be the mayor or false carolers. But I think I'll lean more onto false carolers. Because uh, uh, it's large trench coat and Halloween masses going around singing, ringing neighborhood doors, carrying some kind of paper or note. Paper or note. Hmm. Does the mayor have a paper or a note? Let's see. False characters of Fox for the human creatures may lay the end of the blood. It just sounds after dark. I want to report seeing something as they're known to carry away anything that's sounds close enough to them. They're nursing grounds to feed their young. If false characters are suspected in the present neighborhood, all homeowners are in an affected area. Just stay locked inside their homes till sunrise. Doesn't talk about them having notes. Mm. Nor the mayor, I believe. I don't think it talks about them having a note either. This is hard. French coat. Wait, didn't they talk about the Mouse King being dressed up and stuff now? Trying to hide? Oh, yeah, so maybe it's the Mouse King. Yeah. Sorry, Chew. Well, we don't know if we're wrong. I feel like we're gonna get the bad ending. <laughs> oh, yep. It was the Mouse King. Yep. Sorry, Chew. Oh, I'll always touch. <laughs> yeah, that one was difficult, definitely hard, but I remember that one message that said they were dressing up to hide themselves. Yeah. yeah. Um, what time are you planning to end stream? I have to stay up tonight, so... Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, I don't really have a time limit, per se. Oh, uh, you know what it might have been? It might have been the fucking Yolmen. I was talking about gingerbread. What would make the gingerbread man come to life? I oh, wait, know. animation. Oh, right, animation. That's right. Maybe. Yeah. Salutations. 
patience. My wife spoke to this line earlier, and I'm simply calling you back to assure you that everything is fine here in our household. There is no need for alarm. Uh -oh. Please, allow us the pleasures of peace and solitude. Good morrow. I think that was the Hans one. <laughs> yeah, that was Hans. Right, your peace sign is up. Which one? Which one? I might have accidentally hit it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, I got rid of it. Okay. Forbidden action submission for Oh. I need you to send out someone to change out our locks. My mother-in-law has finally gone far enough, and I've had it with her. I don't know how, but I think she's managed to get a copy of my key to come in and leave these creepy little dolls for my kids at night. I saw Ow. that old bag myself on the security yeah. camera. It's a, it's a bit fuzzy, but I can make out those crony old arms of hers. Please hold. Well, that one was easy. <laughs> yeah. But I, I guess they decide to throw us a softball after we fucked up so much. <laughs> Imagine it was wrong. Yeah. 60%. Okay, before I finish this hatchet, last night when I was playing SCP games, I also played another game I wanted to play, which was click holding. Click holding, which is a horror game based based off of cuck holding. Okay. <laughs> Except instead of sex, it's a clicker. <laughs> very very good. <laughs> All right, give me a second to respond to some DMs. All right. Yeah, I'll wait for you. Oh no, I I'll wait for you to get <laughs> be ready. Oh god, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh my gosh. What? 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 What did I do? What's wrong? Um, I can only see the picture. I can only see... I, I zoomed and I don't know how to unzoom. We don't see it. I know, but on my screen all I can see is this picture. How do I unzoom? Oh, well now you've got a lewd face and peace sign. How do I unzoom on a computer? Fuck if I know. Skill issue, yeah. Professional streamer. Oh. Wait. Magnifier? Turn off. Okay, there we go. Why did that get activated? <laughs> <laughs> You may want to put slut mode away. <laughs> I was trying to go back on OBS to unturn it off. <laughs> then that happened. <laughs> All right. All right, you're back. Yeah. All right. Daily Twilight Report, December 25th, 1996. Phenomena sighted across all northern territories at approximate. 600 hours. Estimated proximity is around 10,000 miles or 16,093.44 kilometers. Currently feeding. 
current risk profile very high. Increased levels of cheer spreading is highly advised. We got another message from Rodney. I see. Oh, fuck. That's right. I'm voicing this bastard. <laughs> yeah. Hey. What are you doing here on Christmas, doll? XD. Unfortunately, we both know why. I'm sorry this always falls on your plate, Becca. Especially with the extra madness going on at the pest control. Again. But that is gonna be a rough one. Here's hoping you see you here just damn. We'll have to thank you for this past year, Rodney. <laughs> Well, we had a 50%. Oh, I, I asked slightly higher than 50%. Maybe we'll survive. <laughs> Perhaps. I got all creatures this time. Yeah. Hudson here. We almost had him, but that little royal pain has given us the slip. <laughs> he was last seen hightailing it towards the head office with his swarm in tow. I repeat, you have a whole gaggle of mice coming your way. My boys are coming in to break the walls down. We're going to seize the king no matter what. Tell your buddies up at IT they're going to have plenty of work ahead of them tomorrow. That's how it has to be. Hudson out. What did I say? I always dodge, motherfucker. <laughs> Permission set updated. New entries are now available. Wait, what? There's no new entries. Wait, what? <laughs> There were still some entries that had been unlocked. No, it it was shown up as next to new if there was no entry. There's nothing. There's nothing different. No, there are things different. Oh, uh, hold on. Greetings, Rebecca. I'm certain that you've seen the skies today. The light's gaze has fallen upon us. I'm calling to wish you and the rest of the caller response team the best of fortunes. I know I need not remind thee that this day is one of great import, and is to be treated with the utmost gravity. Spread much merriment, and cheer to all you can, and I hope to see you all on the morrow. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was kind of pulled away from the mic because I'm trying to find a way to set up this chair so that it's not destroying my tailbone. Yeah. I still don't know whether or not there was damage done to my house. I'm hearing now that several kids in the neighborhood are either dead or missing. So if that doesn't say serious earthquake damage, I don't know what does. I'll be taking my business elsewhere. And that was the person we messed up on. <laughs> oh, it was probably the train. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's the yield man. Okay. Hmm. I can do it. Of course not you.
I'm back. Yeah, I don't think it's the Yomen, because it only talks about one person, not multiple. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think it's the bell snickle, because they didn't leave anything behind. Yeah. Well, it's not the giant rock. <laughs> Yeah. Just imagine a giant rock just breaking into a house. <laughs> Somehow vanishing before the woman can see it. <laughs> it's not Bigfoot. Wait. Even drink on the McMillan left out for Santa things. That's like it knows what he does there's this pier. I think you have to let the saint in. Alright. Wait a minute. What? What about the hob? Like a regular a hob? hob? Common yeah, hob? Common hob. I remember them liking milk. There's first hair, they have no false face, no other tennis didn't consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances. Of course, dishes cleaning them. Painting them in the process, they generally only come out at night. Those aren't dangerous, like you start to have like people with mischievous X metamorphosis. Those aren't probably their own, own what's nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent Pokemon metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. Yes, yeah, so I think it might be a hog. Yeah, you could be right, yeah. We got a normal one from the previous game. Yeah. Save for it. Either that or I'm leading us to death. Yeah. yeah. Nope, it was coming up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Is it normal for a Northern Lights to show up in broad daylight for us folks in Texas? This guy's been looking real stranded all day. Could a power plant be leaking nearby or something? Looks like this guy went all radioactive, if you know what I mean. Well, I was no, right. Please <laughs> hold. It's like, that's that's fine, right? I mean, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> well, this one was easy. It's the twilight. Yeah, obviously. I swear, if it shows up as wrong, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> we just tell them, uh, it's gonna be gone tomorrow if everyone's cheerful. <laughs> yeah, and if it's not gone tomorrow, well, You're we fucked. won't be receiving a call. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the mountain war like this time? <laughs> oh, that's right. They said they would be. Oh, it's a network error. Okay, so we're kind of fucked now. <laughs> uh, okay, so something coming. It wants. Uh. They tried taking my baby. Yeah. So maybe the sinner? Oh yeah, the sinner. Oh, why did I do that? Wait, can we still play this? Oh. That doesn't sound much like what they talked about. Yeah, the rumbling. Oh yeah, and remember, they they won't attack human uh, uh, adults unless they get in the way of the children. Yeah. Which means she would probably be dead. 
if it was the center. Wait a minute. Did you mention rumbling? Yeah. I know what it is. <laughs> it's Aaron Yeager. Oh my god. I said something coming from the mountain, though. Yeah. But I can't remember if the mount mountain were like leave its area. I don't think it's supposed to. But I mean, we could risk it. Kind of don't. This is this was a bit hard because we got the network error. Thanks to Chew. <laughs> oh no, reading aloud. Fuck you. <laughs> I can see it being the center. Could do nothing. I'm. Because hmm. I don't remember any other creature taking children, but the center. Hey, bright. Yeah. Fuck you. Wow. I funk that. Damn it, I wanted to see if I could get you to cuss before you noticed. <laughs> nice try. This one's hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess the center. It's the only one I remember it taking children. I feel like... Mm -hmm. I really feel like that's not it. Okay. What could it be? Wait. Wait. Wasn't the ogre a threat to children? Yeah, the ogres was a threat to children too. I forgot about that. Is it... Oh, wait. It has an audio sample. Oh, this time it doesn't allow us to hear it. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I wonder why. <laughs> I guess go with the ogress. Yeah. But I definitely passed it. <laughs> Did I? It starts with an O, you don't. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's getting so many times. Uh... We're gonna find out. It was hey. the ogress. I'm blaming poor Shrek. We're, we're not blaming Shrek. We're blaming Fiona. Wait, we can play this one. But for some reason, we can't hear this one. There's a nudist in our neighborhood! I contacted the authorities. <laughs> So this oh. might be the Yule Cat. Yeah, I think it's the Yule Cat. Because you have to be completely naked in order to not die. Freedom expression. Uh, bad woman oh. word. <laughs> I feel like that's, like, not the worst thing to say. I can't cuss at you. Gotta be careful about it. Oh, right. Fuck, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Why does it sound a bit different? Because of Santa. Oh, oh thank God you answered. I don't know how long we have 
before the power goes out again. But please, you have to send somebody out here. I'm at 451 Grover Lane. The storm is bad. It's really, really bad. And my mom got caught in a storm on her walk, and now she's in pain. I didn't know who else to call. What do oh. I do? I know what this oh. one is. Yeah, it's the hunt. Yeah. It's <laughs> network error. <laughs> I was gonna go back and confirm, but guess not. Yeah. Still has network error to go on. Yeah, uh the the mother's gonna die. Yeah, unfortunately. She's gonna become a clansman. <laughs> Wait, I heard it sounded like talking. Yeah, there was chanting there. So Wait, that was pretty oh. obviously a Hans, right? <laughs> the first time we actually get the Mount <laughs> Warlock. What are you talking about? That was a Hans. That's it. Yeah, it sounds similar. It's the for once. Yeah. It's finally the mountain warlock. <laughs> put, put in Hans, bright. Put in Hans for the memes. No. Put in Hans. It's Hans. That bastard. I would have laughed if, if it said it was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yep, it's actually Hans. I feel like when we try to go for the bad ending, we do nothing but Mountain Warlock. Yes, agreed. Except for when it's Mountain Warhawk, then it's Hans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's something real strange happening outside our house. The uh -huh. sky looks all green, and I... I have a bad feeling about it. A real bad feeling. <laughs> That's the twilight, again! Don't worry, it's just... It's just sparkly vampires coming. The sparkly vampires are coming to... be terrible. <laughs> just awful. Terrible. someone trying to spy on my son Richie and I. Just the other night while it was raging outside, some prankster with a death wish came to our door and just absolutely hammered on it and left before I could answer. This kid left some kind of weird looking orb on our porch so I punted it into the trash. <sighs> Probably some kind of spy camera to case the joint with. Hmm. Please hold. Probably... Oh, we have a descriptions back. That's probably the same. Yeah. Yeah, because it comes out with during the storm. Yeah. So yeah, it's most likely the same. Very good. Now we wait. Why don't we get the feeling I'm going to get a message from the Mouse King?
please. Is that oh. the white? Reindeer head. Well, we can't check anyways. <laughs> reindeer. Okay, so I'd be thinking the white, but reindeer headpiece makes me think of the uh, the antlers. Oh yeah, because the antler ghosts do bite people. Hmm. Which is hard because both of them bite people. <laughs> yeah. I want to go with antler gross because it, it looks more likely. It says drunken man. Well, she's probably looking from out inside. Mm -hmm. and it does say limping around. It's not like walking. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I guess go with the antler gross. Let's see. Yeah! It was antler gross. That's correct. Okay. This is very good. Yeah. It was very much antler gross. No. We just spent the night in our bunker during last night's storm, and it sounds like a ghost town out there. It's dead silent, save for the sound of some wandering souls coughing their lungs out. Did the commies drop a deuce on us? Please confirm. Over and out. Commies <laughs> drop a deuce on us. <laughs> what? Is it... Is it this is... Wait, when does this game take place? 1990-something, like 1996. Yeah, so the USSR has just been disbanded for at least five years. Are they referring to China, then? Yeah. Entering homes for... I don't think it's the Pershta. What is that other one that I remember talking about cackling? I'm not cackling. I was gonna say it's probably a white. Because he was talking about a <laughs> storm and now there's a bunch of people. Yes, it wondering uh, souls coughing their lungs out. Yeah, coughing or hacking. Yeah. yeah, it's it's the white. It's a bunch of clansmen. So it's literally the opposite of the commies. Yeah. Like, these aren't the commies, these are the people that were carrying around picket signs with, like, race mixing is communism written on them in the 60s. <laughs> That's such a wild statement. Yeah, getting the bad end will be a lot quicker, so because I can just hit a button for next call. I kind of wish I'd activated it this time. What's happened to my husband? I came home. Oh. I'm tripping. Oh God, it's horrible. The police won't do anything. Please send someone. What kind of sick person would do something like this? There's so much blood. Oh, I know who it is. Yeah, it's it's Baba Yaga. Yeah, the uh, the Pershta. and we can't. Look. So Pershta committed a hate crime. Good for her. <laughs> cancel the Pershta. Everyone in chat, uh, hashtag cancel Pershta. <laughs> We're gonna do anything anyway. <laughs> yeah. She this poor king. How yep. do you spell Pershta? Uh P E R C H T A. Oh well book beat me to it, so I'll just copy book. But I'm gonna spell it wrong though. <laughs> 
Oh shit, they did. Never mind. <laughs> the, the lights. They're so beautiful, yet. Um. So empty. So empty. What the fuck? What? The. Do we got the things back? Yes, we do. Her hands are I was disturbed. You know, something there was something her. that... There was something that had to do with... Giving people existential dread. Was it a time whisk? Yeah, no, Miss Existential those. Dread. Oh, well, maybe. I'll say active at so night. I feel so empty. So empty. She can't switch. Go into the light. Do it. Nothing bad can happen if you go into the light. So I don't do that. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't think it's the twilight. Yeah, I don't think so. It's the mountain war like no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Uh memory wisp? Memory wisp? Does that do light? No, no, it doesn't. No. Huh. Feels so empty. What the hell does that mean? In this context. I don't know. Hmm. It's carbon monoxide. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Book said, uh oh. That said, uh, oh, huh. Oh, huh. Nothing bad can happen if you go into... Oh, wait, I already read that. Hmm. Do you want a hint? Sure, bookworm. Go ahead. Is it an older one? Yeah, I can't remember. I have a feeling it's an older one. Yeah. A lamp sprite? Yes, you said the correct one already. Oh. So it's one of the ones we said. So, Time Wisp. What was the other one we said? It's one. Memory Wisps? And memory Wisps. I know I mentioned that. But there's not light. Could be time wisp. Because they do go brightly. Yeah, but the lights, they're so beautiful. That still kind of makes me think of the twilight. Yeah, that's also another thing we mentioned. Yeah, it's definitely sugar to this is tricky. I'll tell you beautiful. after, unless you really want to know. No. Hmm. This one's hard, because they give us very little information. Mm. So it's, it's a 50-50, because I think it's probably either Time Wisp or the Twilight, because they both are light-oriented. Yeah. And this is the 25th. Yeah. So the Twilight's especially active. Yeah. 
Hmm. Think we should go for Twilight? Well, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that could, just, that could fit the description. But I, I can't think of anything. Yeah. Same here. I'm gonna go with Twilight. Yeah. If we fuck up, then so be it. If we fuck up, it, it was Time Wisps. Probably. Yeah. Oh, it was Twilight. Oh. Yep, it was. You were correct. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a hard one. I guess because it's it feeds off of fear and suffering, yeah. what it could do is like leave behind nothing. Yeah. Oh, th that's a sinner. Yeah, sorry, your Please kid's dead. Lord. Yeah. Mm. Ripperino to that child. I can't tell if the sinner or the the real Krampus is worse. I think the sinner because it's indiscriminate. It just goes after all children. Yeah. Real Krampus goes after naughty kids. Look, well, this next one should be easy, I think. Yeah, that was that was stupidly easy. <laughs> if it didn't mention the chains, there'd be several creatures it could have been. <laughs> well, I think we would have defaulted to the Krampus stand-in considering yeah. the circumstances. Would you shake a poor sinner's hand? I remember that movie. Yeah. There's something oh. wrong with our heating system. Oh. We have all the windows open right now because we're just boiling alive. I've gone to the basement to manually turn off the heater, but somehow it keeps getting turned back on and cranked up way too high. Well, uh, we know what that one is. <laughs> it's the dwarves. The dwarves have invaded your home. Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for the mouse king to message us. Because they're here. Yeah. And in Alaska, it did speak to us. Chew, are you going to send us a message as the mouse king or not? <laughs> yeah, what's your what's your wise wisdom? I ho, I ho, it's off the work we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I think it's more likely that the Twilight. <laughs> eh, I, I, this is pretty obviously a trash gnome. <laughs> I like for the old guy who's just like, huh? I feel empty. Her, she's like, oh my god, the lights, the lights, <laughs> like the Not old guy. Not the lights. Ah. <laughs> I just imagine both of them are standing next to each other. The old guy's just standing there like nothing's happening, and she's just freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. There's multiple twilights because it's and it's strongest. Yeah. yeah. And we haven't exactly been giving it very good, or uh, haven't exactly been keeping it from getting its food. Yeah. As well as we could have. 
Hudson here. First off, you're welcome. Me and the boys had to make quite a mess to do it, but we've finally done it. Yeah, that's right. We got you, Your Majesty. The rest of them scattered to the winds as soon as we captured their not-so-mighty leader. Spread the good news around the office and maybe call the IT department, some carpenters, and a plumber as soon as you can. Pretty sure that pipe is going to burst one way or another anyway. Happy Yuletide season's greetings. Hudson out. Oh. Hashtag free Chew. Yeah, sorry Chew, you got captured. <laughs> Chew's dodging skills ran out. Yeah. Oh, part of the plan is Chew. You have worked the miracle once again, Rebecca. Thanks to you, the Lights Watch has passed over us once again. You are truly a lifesaver. As a friendly reminder, the office Christmas party begins on the morrow, so we had best see you there. May the Yule shine upon me and be ever merry, Rebecca. Oh, I guess we get to see the, Yule, uh, the party. Yay. <laughs> so we got the good ending. Yay. <laughs> I guess it's just as long as we don't completely run out of cheer. Oh, there's Rodney. Oh. Why is this an out of key recorder rendition of. <laughs> of, uh. Wish you a Merry Christmas? I don't know. I don't want to go to a party. It's Jew. I see HSH merch. Is there actually merch? What the fuck is that? <laughs> this is normal. Did the Rat King escape? Did Chew escape, finally? Or Mouse King? I mean, if there is HSH merch, I'll gladly get some. Uh, oh, they, they, oh got, no. they caught I've been feeding it out, giving it alcohol. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you being to the ha? Oh, my God. Why would you be mean to a hub? I wonder if it'll have like it had before with the with the book. Like where I see where it based off of its creature creatures. Damn hub abuse. Oh, there's something new in options. What's oh it's probably the cheats. <laughs> 